Hi guys, and I started to to use this framework, materialized CSS, and I I made a a kind of website for the place that I am working. So and I'm I'm going to tell you how how it works is it is really really easy to to use and it's so helpful if you need uh, if you need to build a website as a, a small project you can use this this framework for you know to get the material design aspect and you just need to put a few things so there we go so for make it work so we just need to implement the the CSS and the JavaScript so that what's we are gonna to do and for that I have here in my sublime text and I'm going to build up a single document and simple HTML document and I'm going to put it test and in the head section of inside of in my HTML document I'm gonna put this so just like that Okay, and then I'm gonna save it. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put it here. So I'm gonna make create a new folder, material design test. Okay, that's good. And test. Very good. We got it. So just like that and then we just need to choose what kind of component or what kind of tool we want to implement to the to our website so for example if i have an app art this looks pretty good we just need to copy this and that's enough so that's it and save so okay I'm um, I'm gonna taste it and that's it it works it is really really easy to use so and if we want to make a, a entirely layout so material this mat materialize CSS has their own grid system so but we can use our own grid system it doesn't matter because the classes are so th there are in conflicts with the classes I mean and um, so another example could be I really like the the slider so we have here in media, in JavaScript media, we have this kind of live box. So, but I'm gonna use the slider for this example. So, we have the, the slider here. So it is it runs really really good, smoothy. So it looks really really nice. So we just need to just to copy this and so paste here paste it here but besides this for the JavaScript components we need to to put the jQuery initialization so that's we we're gonna do so just copy this and put it at the end of our document 
between inside of our script tag script tags so just that it's so simple so just that and I am forgetting I, I forget something to put the um, the jQuery I think the jQuery yeah the jQuery library so just okay okay I need to put this before our scripts so it's so important because it's the jQuery library so okay okay here says that before materialize okay that's what we're gonna do okay is that first the jQuery then the materialize yes and then our scripts okay I'm gonna taste it and that's it we have our slider working so it's really really easy to use this and uh, and um, just that and we have a lot of components here for example we have I really, really like the card card for example this this is my favorite one so this is a standard a standard card so uh, we just need to, to copy the code and paste you know the paste it in the document um yeah but first you need to put your own image so we have we don't have images already for that I'm going to loringpixel.com just for stocks stocks images um I'm gonna copy this you can put another URL doesn't matter and um, so just that just like that and that's it so and this is my card so it looks so big because we have not a grid a grid system so but we can use this with with our own grid system so I've never used the materialize CSS grid system I'm gonna try to use it so okay 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 we have on it a container okay it is really really okay I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna copy this um, I'm gonna create a container and then the okay obviously we need a container a row and okay for columns um okay four 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 okay for twelve columns okay I hope works <laughs> okay um just that oh okay oh Matt I'm very bad Matt <laughs> I'm sorry so but it works one two and three columns so it seems I can put my card inside of the first column um, this way. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. I'm gonna 
do it just like that and that's it this is this is how it works and that's it so it is really really easy to implement to our website and it doesn't take a lot of time we have all all available for us we have all these components and a lot of more components and we need you just need to 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 custom to make a kind of you know movement or to modif to modify the our the images and the titles and stuff and that's it so but we have buttons we have buttons I'm gonna add a a button so just for see how it looks and it looks really really good so it is material it's Google yeah and I, for example if we if we need to change the color of the button we need just to put a, a extra class here in CSS tab we we have the color section and would you just need to put the this this class okay just this class and to in this case for the bottom we have here the the bottom so we just need to add the class here besides the beside of besides the rest of the classes so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, five classes inside. So I have this A tag. So okay, and that's it. It works. It's pretty good. It's beautiful. Definitely, it is. And we have here mm, for a line, a deep, uh, a. a a profile line content inside a deep alignment line text so format hover so media responsive images we just need to to add the classes for example in this image we have the class we have the class responsive image so and it works. So when you uh, when you do resize in your browser, it works. I swear. <laughs> and just that. So we had a footer as well. We can add a footer. Okay, this is very 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 nice. So okay, I'm gonna refresh this. Okay, and that's it. We have our f new footer, and it is completely functional. So, and we, if we resize the page, it is responsive. Everything in materialize is responsive. Even the slider and the nap. We have different kind of naps. This is a simple this this the simplest nav we can find. We can find. So and uh, the car as well. But the main idea here is the grid of the mat of material the materialized CSS grid needs extra classes for the responsive uh, design. But it is completely good from so you see I, I made a kind of website in minutes so it, this is how it works materialize so it can help you in in a small in a small project so you just need to work on it and just that it's a very very nice tool for 
you know, for create a website. And besides this, we have icons. We just need to add this tag i so for and the class of the 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 size and then of the the extra class material icons and then inside of this the, the name of the icons so just that and this is official this is the official icon library by Google for material design so just that um, that's it for the video and I hope you I hope you try this at least you try to use the this framework because it it helped me a lot <laughs> before so just that and thank you so much and see you in the next one